Some people think that diner beads are expensive, while slurry is typically considered to be cheap. Yet the price per sample is comparable, or even lower, when you include the pre-clearing step. When you calculate the cost of doing your immunoprecipitation, you typically look at the cost of the solid phase relative to the potential capacity of a fixed volume of that solid phase. However, as we have shown in Myth 3, the majority of Sephiro's capacity is redundant, unless you increase the amount of antibody tremendously. Which means this is not the best way to calculate the cost. Having a hundred times the potential capacity does not mean Sephiro's is a hundred times cheaper. The right way to calculate your cost is to look at how much you need for your specific experiment. As an example, let's take the minimum volume of slurry that is practical to work with. Let's say you use 50 microliters of Sephiro's, that's $4.70. Then there's the cost of the antibody. You typically use 5 micrograms each time, that's $11. And to allow for pre-clearing, you need to double the amount of Sephiro's. This gives us a total cost for that one run of $20.40. Now let's run the same calculation with Dynabeads. 50 microliters of Dynabeads, that's $5.90. You need 5 micrograms of antibody, that's $11. And as we have shown in Myth 2, you don't need to pre-clear when you use Dynabeads, which leaves us a total cost of $16.90, which is a significant saving. No wonder so many people are moving away from slurry and over to magnetic beads.